everybody, it's Joe Simpson here. It is Sunday afternoon and I have some good news and I have some bad news. Well, some pretty cool news actually. The cool news is I got my gas motor on my boat and I took it out this weekend and it works great. So I'm really happy about that. So now I can get to different water, fish different bodies of water, fish bigger water, and start doing some more, I think, fun videos other than these like seven or eight ponds that I always go to. The bad news is I tried fishing at first the Potomac for some smallmouth on Saturday. That was a bust. I caught nothing. And then I went out today with Pat. He picked one up uh, in the Occoquan Reservoir, but we're not real familiar with that body of water and we just kind of don't know where to fish. And I think we're having some high pressure systems move through, so it's throwing our fish off a little bit. So I didn't catch any fish this weekend at all. Yeah, I really got skunked. I caught a couple earlier in the week. I went with my daughter one day fishing like midweek. It was a little lunch break deal and I caught a really nice bass on a spinnerbait. Felt kind of bad because I was just showing her how the spinnerbait works. Ended up catching a fish like right when I was showing her. But I wanted to share the good news, which is a couple of good products that I picked up as well, other than my boat motor. Uh, I got a new spinning reel. Now, I don't know if you guys remember a while back, I bought the wide eye um, walleye rod from Cast King, which a lot of people use this rod for bass fishing, especially finesse bass fishing. It has an ultra sensitive tip. Now the walleye wide eye, it's a weird name. It's a wide eye walleye rod. I wish they would just call it the wide eye. But anyway, the wide eye, it's made with uh, IM9 graphite. And this thing is only, it's like 3.85 ounces. So it's like sub four ounce rod. And it has a uh, you know, really nice Fuji seat. Uh, alkanite, I think it's alkanite um, eyes and the, the, the tangle free offset eyes and stuff like that. And the tip is just really super, super duper sensitive. So um, love this rod, but I've been using a loose speed spin on it. And I always feel like the, the weight of the handle and, and the back end of it just seemed a little out of balance. So I thought maybe I should lighten up the reel. So I was looking around and I was, I was moving towards uh, Stratix and some really expensive reels. And I thought, is there anything that's made that's light by one of these Chinese companies? And I came across uh, Pissy Fun and it's the Pissy Fun Carbon X. This is the 3000 series. I might've gone with the 2000 series. Now this, the 1000 series in the Carbon X is only 5.7 ounces. This one is, I believe eight ounces. So eight and roughly four. So I've got a below 12 ounce rod and reel combo. And I can tell you, it's noticeably lighter than the loose speed spin. Sorry about the cicada bugs. But anyway, this thing's pretty cool. It's six two to one gear ratio. It's built mostly with carbon fiber, I believe. And it is really nice. It casts well. Uh, it's a spinning reel. I don't get real excited about spinning reels, but this one is really smooth and it kind of rounds out the game as far as the type of fishing that I like to do when I do some finesse fishing. So um, give it a look, check it out. It's the Pissy Fun Carbon X. I think it was between 50 and 60 or maybe 60 and 70. A little pricey for a Chinese reel. I usually like to land in that $45, $50 range to make it worth it. But you know, in the spinning reel line, when you get to that above $70, there's a lot of competition even by name brand. So time will tell, I'll report back on that one, but so far so good. It casts well, it handles well. The drag um, is, I kind of like it. It's one of those like loud clicky drags. It's not real fine, um, which I kind of like. It's kind of old school, but yeah, it, I think it's got like a 20 pound drag or an 18 pound drag for spinning reel. Plenty for me, because I'm only gonna be finesse fishing with it. Which brings me to the next topic, finesse fishing. I just went on a crazy shopping spree for, let me see if this is the right bag. Yeah, TRD, Z-Man, ultralight finesse stuff. So Pat's been doing a lot of jig fishing and had quite a bit of success. I still don't have huge confidence in jig fishing and a lot of you guys might be the same way. Um, anyway, I throw some of these jigs, I throw some of these creature baits and they tend to work just fine. Um, but I still don't have confidence in their size and their appearance and I saw a bunch of these Z-Man products and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just try them out. So I bought a bunch of like jig heads TRD jig heads made for the Z-Man products. You can find all of these at Dick's. There's nothing magic here. These are just uh, little mushroom heads. And now they're called weedless because they have like a wired weed guard. They're not weedless. Um, 
they deflect some weeds, but they come out pretty nasty if it's nasty stuff. But here's what they look like when they're dressed up, which I think is cool. And that's called the TRD Hog Z. I'll show you one of these without the jig set up in a minute. And then here's one with like what I would say is like, I don't know, these have like a little tuby tail thing on there. You know, some, some good quality meat. And when this thing hits the bottom, this thing stands up and those little French ticklers go to work. Um, but here's what some of these baits look like just by themselves. There's that guy. That's that's called Hog Z, I think. It's got two little legs. And these all float, so when these are in the water, they stick straight up. I can't really do it in the air because they flop over, but these things just stick straight up in the air and their legs kick. Um, these are more the just the bodies with the little tails on the back end. You know, here's a green one with some purple fleck in it, and here's a purple one. Um, but here is the one that I really like. Here's the most in my opinion, the coolest bait right now. And especially you smallmouth guys, you should check this one out. Look at that little bugger. All right, now that's a crawfish. Now check this out. Those will not break off. Because this is made, and all of these baits are made with elastic material, which is awesome because they're gonna stretch forever and they won't break. Um, this is made with a special hook, and I'll show you the hook in a minute. And this thing is weedless 100%. And it's got a little weight at the top, a little catch here, which is also a little additional weight. And when this thing sits on the ground, that thing sits there with its tentacles up in the air. And it looks like a fighting craw. It looks like it's like its you know hands are up. You know, it's going backwards and fighting. That, that was a really good impersonation of a crayfish. But these are what the little crayfish bodies look like. Again, super stretchy, really easy uh, to put on the hooks. But let me show you these little weedless hooks that go with that. Real simple design. Basically, you, you do it just like any other Texas rig, but that little bump just before the bend in the hook, the way you put that, that bait on there is you don't, you don't push past the point. You grab the neck of that bait and you stretch it over that point because that's not going to rip. A normal plastic would just rip. But these things do better being pulled onto the hooks rather than pushed onto the hooks. So that's a, a tip to remember. But again, some of the other baits that I had was I had just a regular stick bait and I used these. I used these stick baits for, um, you know, you could, you could wacky rig them, but you have to put weight on it. Remember these float. But if you wanted a floating worm, wacky rigged, something different, maybe jerk it across the top of the water, it might work, I don't know. And then here's uh, what they call the, I think they call these TRDs. This is just your classic TRD turd. These things will stand up. You know, when you see people using Ned rigs on, online, they're using these usually. Um, so yeah, whole bag of Ned rig goodies. These baits do not play well with other lures. So yeah, I'll just take you on a quick tour of some of these different baits. And that's it. So last thing I'm gonna leave you with is what I'm working on today. I'm making some ribs. So if you don't have one of these, you might want to get one. This is called the Camp Chef. And what I have here is pellets on the left. You can see them in the hopper. And you probably can't see the temperature because my camera's freaking out, but it's uh, 230 degrees on smoke. Those pellets are augered into a burning chamber and it's all wood, hardwood pellets. And then inside I have these beautiful racks of ribs that'll be done tonight at around five o'clock and uh, yeah I should do a tutorial on how to do those one time one day um, also on the right hand side if you're wondering what that is this is called the sear box basically it's a gas grill add-on for this unit so like when you smoke your steaks for 45 minutes and you want to just finish them off with a crispy outer edge you can throw them on the sear box so that's about all I have going on in my life today not a ton of fishing but enjoy the couple catches I leave you with after this and we'll see you guys soon and I'll be back out in that boat and that gas motor soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Now, this is a cool little thing. If you've ever used Z-Man products before, one of the things that's difficult with them is actually getting them Texas rigged. But this company makes a little belly weighted uh, Z-Man, uh, what do they call that? Like a Texas rig type hook with a little built-in bullet weight. I'm running it straight braid, 20 pound on this, uh, 
little setup here that I've got. It's the Cast King Walleye Rod, 3000 series lose, 3000 series lose at 6.2 to 1, so it's a pretty high speed reel. And I'm gonna throw this little tiny bait out there and see if I can get even some of these little fish that have been poking at my worm to, to commit. Fish, fellas, get him up out of that grass. Good fish. Just walk him over to where I can get to him. All right, all right. So what do we have here? We have a very solid little fish with this little TRD thing. Hook set went fine. Hook does not seem bent at all. And we got us a one pound bass. You wanna do something more fun? I put one of these on and all you gotta do, cast it out, reel it in. You'll see it when it comes closer. Yep, got one. Good one. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's a big fish. Wow. Damn. Maybe you do want one of those? Hi, fish. Ooh. Woo. Wow. Two and a half pounder. Isn't that cool? You want to touch it? Yeah, I think today will be a good spinnerbait day. Isn't that great? Back Come on. It's so rhythmic. Do you want a picture with it? Where's your phone? Okay. All right. And what you do is you let them kind of get back to where they can go. It's on his lip right there. That's where I caught him. Is it? Mm -hmm. Look, he's going to kick soon. Back to the sea. So you can cast like towards the bank and reel it in. Much smaller. Hi, little guy. Cast towards those uh, little short leafy things over there. Dude. I just think you won't. Why am I getting too high up? Like, am I too far on the front? Oh my god. Look at this, Vanessa. Look at this. Pretty good one too. <laughs> cool. He's way in there. Number three. The first one was actually pretty big. <laughs> now that I'm looking at these. All right, so let me show you the trick. 